So the booming AI space isn't running out of chips, it's running out of electricity. AEP, one of the largest US power companies, just locked in a $1.6 billion federal loan to upgrade roughly 5,000 miles of transmission lines. Why? Because AI data centers are devouring electricity faster than the grid can replace it. Power demand that was flat for decades is now exploding. And forecast show AI alone could consume nearly 10% of all US electricity demand by 2030. So if generation and transmission don't scale in time, the next bottleneck in the AI boom won't be chips, it'll be blackouts. And here's how I think investors can actually position for it. First, the backbone plays. Transmission and utility companies expanding their rate base. When they upgrade lines with regulatory support, they get to bill for decades to come. These are long, long cycles. Second, the gear. Companies making switch gear, transformers, voltage regulators, and cooling systems are entering multi-year growth cycles. Third, the commodities, the raw materials. Things like copper, aluminum, insulation, everything tied to grid expansion. Those demand curves are steepening fast. And when you're screening companies, look for three things. Number one, backlog growth in awarded uh, transmission projects. Two, funded capex, not just proposals. And three, partnerships with hyperscalers or AI infrastructure builders. At the end of the day, AI isn't running out of chips, it's running out of power. The next big trade isn't semiconductors, it's in the grid. 